G'day everyone, Viv here, hope you're all keeping well. Thought we'd have a bit of an update for the tower project. I've built another building and started etching the lines, so uh, happy with the progress so far. Let's have a closer look. So I've built this habitation center. This is where all our little tower men sort of uh, live whilst they're not working and chill out and watch YouTube. So this is the front of it. There'll be some doors at the front here. Uh, I think I'll use some Hearst Arts doors, some of the sci-fi doors, uh, to get up into the two donuts at the top up here, and then uh, a little, little one at the top up there for meetings or whatever. A little bit of communication here on the side, so that's just a couple of dual antennas. And then uh, around the bottom, obviously, for support, just the, the various wings, which uh, help break up some of the line of sight if we're looking from the tabletop and obviously give the piece the structural support that it needs so it doesn't uh, fall over, it's quite uh, sturdy and steady. So that's the uh, habitation centre. As I mentioned, I started working on the etching. <clears throat> the control tower for the landing pad, uh, there was a little support here, you might remember. Um, this little piece here that used to sit under there, that, that broke off when I was etching, so I decided, look, I'm not gonna worry about putting that back on there. Um, once this is base, it'll be uh, sort of secure enough. So uh, I'm happy with uh, all the, the the lines that are on here. It uh, <clears throat> took a little bit of doing, but um, the set's slowly getting there. So there's the the control tower, and then uh, the the landing platform again, just etching in a whole bunch of uh, lines, with no rhyme or reason, just uh, etching in various lines. And then our other tower, uh, just etching in some more lines, obviously. So I'm happy with how the set's coming along so far. I uh, had a couple of ideas for how I can improve the generator. Rather than rebuilding it, I'll uh, add a couple of extra pieces to it, uh, which I think will make a, a big difference. One of the things that I saw when I was looking around at more pictures online, somebody mentioned uh, Dawn of War. <clears throat> Their generators seem to have these pillars that come up the side, they're sort of uh, rounded and curved on the outside and then flat on the inside where there's a sort of uh, this black detailing. So I, I might add a couple of those sort of around the outside, something sort of like that, uh, <coughs> but uh, curved and flat on the inside. Anyway, so there's a very quick update. I don't think I'll build any extra pieces for this table. Um, because it fleshes out quite nicely with a couple of extra pieces. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, I'm happy with it. Bit more progress to do on etching out the lines on the habitation center, then I'll come back and uh, work on uh, completing the generator. Then it's ready for painting. So there we go, the town terrain set almost complete. Bit more etching on this building that I just mentioned. Bit more detail on the generator and be ready for painting, like I just said. So thanks for tuning in once again. Uh, next update, I reckon we'll come back once the generator is uh, fully complete, all the etching and everything has all been done, and uh, we'll have a chat about the colour scheme and all that sort of stuff. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Catch you next time. See ya.